Do you guys want to see something really cool? Okay, the other day I was looking for a wig in the storage closet here at 30 Rock, and I stumbled upon something really interesting. Okay, it's a journal, but not just any journal. This belonged to Morty Swanson. The Morty Swanson. Many of you may not know this, but Morty Swanson was this genius comedy writer who used to work for NBC back in the 50s. His pitches were said to be the most groundbreaking, side-splitting bits that anyone had ever heard. But here's the crazy part. He went missing in the halls of 30 Rock. And as the legend goes, one day he went to lunch at the commissary and was never heard from again, which is why I can't believe I just so happened to find his book of pitches. We gotta check it out. Amber, beware. What the hell? You speak of that which you do not know. Those pitches do not belong to you. Oh my God, Morty Swanson, is that you? It is I, the ghost of Morty Swanson. Let this be your warning. Do not steal those pitches, though they could make you a comedy legend. I wasn't gonna steal them, I swear. I just wanted to give you the credit you deserve. You've been warned, beware. Whoa, creepy. Maybe I should just put this book back where I found it. But I don't know, I just feel this compulsion to keep reading. What's the worst that could happen? Let's just read one, okay? The Fart Machine 2000. This is a bit where we imagine what farts might sound like in the year 2000. All types of wacky farts. We can really go nuts with it. Some of those are just first drafts. Yeah, that one felt kind of phoned in. I was still workshopping it when I choked on that piece of hot dog. Wait, that's how you died? Well, no, I, I survived that, but the whole thing really distracted me from working on this pitch, and, you know, it was due the next day, and I, I was just really in my head. Oh, okay. But beware. Every other pitch in that journal will tickle your mind and tempt your soul. But remember, those bits belong to another. I know, I didn't mean any harm. Choose wisely. Whoa, maybe it's best I just throw this thing away. But then again, I have this nagging curiosity. One more couldn't hurt. <clears throat> The Three Dunces. This would be a recurring bit where we have three dunces named Gary, Perry, and Bo. They're totally dumb and crazy and always doing dumb stuff, really physical comedy, etc. Well, how do you feel about that one? Um, it's okay. Isn't that basically just the Three Stooges, though? What? No. Why would, why would you say that? I mean, Gary, Perry, and Bo, it just seemed a little derivative. And that's not what you're looking for. I'm not looking for anything. I just wanted to give you the credit you deserve. No, no, yeah, totally, totally, totally. Um, are you going to read another one? Do you want me to read another one? No, I don't want any of this. It's excruciating to watch my best material being stolen before my very eyes. Your best material? Oh, well, what else is in there? Okay, let's see. Um, President Truman the Boob Man. Topical. Butt Pooperson. An original character. This one just says, die, commie. That counted as a joke back then. Look, I gotta say, I don't know if any of these are working for me. Oh, you sound just like Sid Caesar. Whoa, you wrote for Sid Caesar? Well, I pitched to him a few times and then he murdered me. That checks out. Beware.